What's up, I'm Naivo. Today we have the FIO BTR7. This is gonna be initial review because uh, I haven't spent a ton of time on, on it, only like a few hours, but I know there's a lot of people curious about it, so I just wanna put out something quick. Uh, real quick, look at it. Power, select button, volume up, volume down, charge lock, microphone, 4.4, 3.5, nothing on this side, USB-C on the bottom, high-res audio, high-res audio wireless, and FIO ATHX stickers, which, I don't really care about. Um, has this nice case. It's like a fake suede, gray color, and um, pretty easy to see what button is what while it's in use. And I do like the case. Um, overall, I like the size and the weight. It's um, definitely heavier. It's actually heavier than both of these combined, um, but still a decent size and weight. I, I don't have any issue with it. Um, I haven't gone running with it yet, so that'll be like the real test, I guess. Um, another thing you can do is if it's in USB um, 1 mode, you can connect this actually straight into an iPhone. So that's really cool. I've been wanting to do that forever. Um, Macintosh had a device that could do it a long time ago, but, you know, it wasn't a very good one. This has a lot more power than that. Um, but to my surprise, now that I finally have a device can, that can do that, uh, it actually sounded better in AAC mode, so um, it was more dynamic, better, darker background. So you saw me hit this twice. That's how I get to the sub menu, and I got uh, input priority from Bluetooth to USB. Um, this is where you select the USB mode one or two, car mode, which I guess turns it on when you're in your car. EQ, it's a PEQ if you upgrade the firmware, which I've done. Filters, there's two filters. Um, fast and I don't know what the other one hybrid fast looks like uh, and gain is low and high uh, the uh, both of the uh, outputs are pretty good uh, whereas on the ES100 MK2 only the balanced outside output is good and Quidlix 5k both are good but this is just more powerful on both and I've tried it so far on m mainly on the Mest Indigo, and it did a pretty dang good job on that. Not quite as good as FIO M17, M17, which I would say is kind of um, on certain headphone combinations. It can sound quite special, but this one does not get to, to that level. Um, not quite as good. Um, what else can I say about it? So I've tried it on the HT650, and it actually was a bad pairing. I'd say it was kind of grainy and just didn't sound so good. DT880 600 ohm, almost got loud enough. It was just under where I like it to be, and uh, but that's pretty impressive, and that's also just the single-ended side. So uh, I think if I converted that to balance, it'd be no issue. Um, so far, I tried this for fun, and it does get kind of loud enough, but it it doesn't do anything special at all. With, uh, it doesn't sound special at all, and if if this far doesn't sound special, then you're doing something wrong. It's not powered enough. Um, so this is definitely way underpowered for Sasvara. Um, but yeah, so Indigo is one of the harder to drive IEMs that I have, and it did it absolutely no problem. Even in um, low gain, pretty low volume, it was already r really good. So, but yeah, just not hitting that bone conduction quite as good as it did on M17. And um, do I recommend it? Oh, by the way, all of these work really well inside of um, cars as well for aux inputs in your car. Try putting one of these, any one of them. Uh, actually, these two are the better ones to use for your car. Um, it, it, it'll make your stock stereo sound better. Um, at least the high chance that it will. Um, so you just stick a 3.5 millimeter to here and then put that to your, um, to your car. Um, do I recommend it? I'll recommend it to IEM users who don't want to spend a ton on a, on a DAP, but, um, and you still need something portable. That's who I'll recommend it to for now, but, um, I think I'll do a follow-up video on different headphones too.